Hello, everyone. Um, in this episode, we're going to continue from last time. We cleaned up the inaugural addresses, and now we're going to use that to conduct latent semantic indexing. So here's the code. Uh, I'm going to use the binary uh, matrix, that uh, the term document matrix that we constructed last time. Again, um, the data comes from this uh, um, University of California American Presidency Project, all those documents have been already cleaned up. And um, it's also on Kaggle, already made a text file for you. Um, also, I'm going to use today um, the historical GDP uh, since the 1800s. Um, it's actually um, the medicine product database. Um, you can download them. I download the access file. Um, it does actually um, you, um, does the best job to uh, get the GDP for many hundred years for many, many countries, 169 countries mm -hmm. uh, up to 2018. So this is uh, what we'll be using in today's episode. Okay, um, so let's import all the libraries. And then we need to mount it on Google Colab. Okay. And now you can check the pass password of uh, the uh, directory. Uh, and it's in my mount here. And I already have the speech binary file generated from last time. So I'm going to just upload it. You can check the shape, it's 154 words in the document, and it's 60 uh, because one is actually the name of the vocabularies. Um, and there are 59 documents. I split them into well, the speech and the token part, the vocabulary part. So that's what we have, the two files, and converting it to NumPy. The first place is here to perform the um, singular value decomposition. Um, let me just use all 59. Um, but I can do the truncated SVD and you can have smaller ones. And here is the fit um, the speech file um, and, and do the latent semantic indexing or latent semantic analysis part. Uh, and it will um, get the singular values, the sigma matrix we had, the, the diagonal matrix, uh, and then the transpose matrix of the U, the U, U matrix in the episode 97. You can look at it, the left part of the matrix. Okay. Uh, and um, the inverse of it is just the diagonals are all inverted. That's the inverse. So that is our um, result um, of the singular value decomposition. I look up the vocabularist and uh, pick something that's maybe related to the economy, sort of change confidence economy, sort of uh, some words are maybe less relevant, but I just put them in just in case. Some of them seems to be really not relevant, so I kind of am not doing it, but in my query vector, there's a list of the 154 words and I set one to only those that I'm interested to picking up. So that is my Q transpose matrix. Then now I can do a matrix multiplication Q transpose with V transpose. And then to that to the S inverse will get me the cosine. Okay. So there are a whole bunch of cosines. The angles can vary from like 70 something degrees uh, up to close to 100 degrees. Uh, so there's some variation. And let me just use how this cosines may be useful. Um, this is a very crude analysis. You have to do a precision targeted uh, query vector and many things. But uh, here I'm uh, having the speech matrix of I generated the GDP growth already. So, and I'm just going to keep the GDP growth averages during each president's tenure. Um, so, and there's a speech ID. And then I'm going to match with the cosine. Okay. All right. So, so, and then given that we cannot start from the GDP data, doesn't have it from 
George Washington. So it starts only in the middle at like 18, what is it, 21. Um, so that's in the middle of the period and it ended at uh, 2018. So we don't get to see President Biden. Um, so, so only up to the previous president's uh, uh, period. So, so from eight to 57 document, and then um, have the cosine computed and how does it look like? Well, uh, you can see here, um, the cosines are computed here. Uh, how does this cosine correlate to the GDP growth on average? That's about 6% correlation between them. So some people who mention more in the inaugural address presence that mention more economic terms in the inaugural address have about 6% correlation with the GDP growth positively. Then, right? so this is how to use uh, latent semantic indexing. Thank you for watching this episode.